All right, to go right along with our GMAS uh, Gets Moving series, we have to tell you about a guy who's running across America and trying to inspire people at the same time. He is a former U.S. attorney running 3,000 miles from L.A. to New York, all in the name of health and wellness, and he's running right through Arizona today. So Jessica Parsons is catching up with him. I'm sure you have your running shoes on. You're at Fry's at 12th Street and Bell. He's probably tough to keep up with. Um, yeah, he's really hard to keep up with. There is no way I could do what he's doing. But I want to tell you, so we caught up with him at the Fries on 12th Street and Bell. And um, what he's doing is running across America, like you said, 3,000 miles. I want to show you some video. Um, we caught up with him inside. Darren was getting his health monitored and checked with these free kiosks that are available to everybody. There's 11,000 of these nationwide. You can track your own health. You don't need insurance. It's totally free. And I wanted to uh, talk a little bit more about that in a minute, but I want to bring you guys in. Yes. Darren, <laughs> you have already traveled, what is it, 371 miles in two weeks? I, I like to think of it as almost 400 miles. Okay. So, <laughs> yes, we've been, uh, you know, we trained extensively, and of course, life throws curveballs as it does, but we are unwavering in our commitment to self-propel ourselves 3,000 miles, whether it's running, walking, crawling, rollerblading, whatever it's got to be, we're making it to New York City self-powered. You guys are doing about 50 miles a day. Why are you doing this? What is your message? It's to show that ordinary people are capable of extraordinary things if they just get into action. Kyle, my running Sherpa, and I, neither of us are dedicated runners. As a matter, as a matter of fact, I'm a recovering overweight kid. Yeah, Kyle, you said you hate running. Oh, absolutely. I won't say it's my least favorite exercise, but it's definitely one of the worst. So how do you guys keep each other motivated and focus on the goal? Because this is a huge, overwhelming goal. It, it is. It's like a Mount Everest kind of an undertaking. I, I think just knowing that somebody is suffering next to you makes an enormous <laughs> difference. And psychologically, just having somebody by your side makes all the difference in the world. And you are no stranger to the spotlight, but this is a totally different kind of spotlight because you're now a health example. Can you talk about that? Wow, yeah. I think everybody goes through life being one of two things, either an example of what's possible or a warning of, you know, what's possible. And I've been on both sides of that equation. So I think if there's anything I can stand for, it's to show people uh, to be a good example and to show people that they're capable of doing absolutely anything. And you kicked off this run just two weeks ago on the Dr. Phil show. What was that like? Well, it was amazing. I've, I've been a legal analyst on the Dr. Phil show several times, so that part was very familiar. But this was a very, very different experience because when Dr. Phil said, ready, set go that's when things got very real for us <laughs> and this trip is extremely special for you because it's a tribute to a friend of yours i think we have video of her her name is bonnie can you talk about yeah, her bonnie was the senior supervising producer at entertainment tonight and the insider and when a, a notorious celebrity was arrested in la it was bonnie who reached out to give me my start in television frankly none of this would have happened if it wasn't if it weren't for bonnie teagle and i became a field correspondent for the insider and did some work for entertainment tonight and uh, this run really is dedicated to Bonnie as Dr. Phil said Bonnie was pure love I understand her last words to you mm. were you are going to impact a lot of lives yeah it was so funny because the last time I saw Bonnie in life was in her office and uh, and I was telling her about this this adventure that we're planning and Bonnie was not one to suffer fools gladly and she just sat back and said you know I think you're really going to change a lot of lives with this she's an amazing Amazing woman. Absolutely. Well, good luck to you guys. Mm, I have you. no doubt she's absolutely correct. You are changing a lot of lives right now. So those free kiosks are available to anybody to check out their own health. You can kind of follow your own journey and you can follow Darren's journey on azfamily.com. We also have a link to where you can find those kiosks anywhere close to your neighborhood. Back to you. Wow. And to me, it's even more meaningful to hear that somebody's stepping out of their comfort zone. It's not the activity that they feel passionate about necessarily, but they're proving that you can do it if you put your mind yeah, to it. Yeah, he's a great spokesperson. Yeah, Jessica, absolutely. thank you Thanks, so Jess. much. We wish him the best of thank luck. Thank you.